The 100 highest peaks on Earth are all in Asia and their altitude does not drop below 7,200 meters. Regarding the first 10, they all reach an elevation of more than 8,000 meters above sea level. Some of these mountains are very deadly for those who would try to climb them, but others are more accessible. Anyway, these mountains are and will remain mythical forever. Stay with us until the end of the video to discover the 10 highest mountains on Earth. Let's begin. Annapurna is part of the Himalayan range in Nepal. This mountain is located in central Nepal. It is a series of peaks, which the highest is called Annapurna 1, culminating at 8,091 meters above sea level. It is the 10th highest peak on Earth. Annapurna 1 is the first summit over 8,000 meters to have been climbed in 1950 by a French expedition. Higher altitudes of 8,500 meters were reached in the 1920s on Everest, but none corresponded to a summit. The first ski descent was made on the north face by Andre and Davo Kanika in 1995. The main peak of the Annapurna Massif is the most dangerous mountain in the world, with a death rate of 37% of all who attempt to climb it. Nanga Parbat is the ninth highest peak on Earth with its 8,125 meters above sea level. It is also found in the Himalayan range. Nanga Parbat means Bear Mountain. It is also called Diamir, meaning King of the Mountains. This huge and spectacular peak rises above Pakistan. This mountain proved to be so deadly that it was nicknamed the Killer Mountain by the German expedition which made the first ascent of it on July 3, 1953. Before this success, 31 people had perished while attempting its ascent. With a death rate of over 22%, its ascent is extremely perilous. Manaslu is the eighth highest peak on Earth with 8,163 meters above sea level. It is located in the Mansiri Haimo, part of the Nepalese Himalayas. It is also called Mountain of the Spirit. This name comes from the Sanskrit word Manasa, which means spirit or soul. The British represented it on maps in the middle of the 19th century then, following the opening of the borders of Nepal in 1950, they were the first to assess the difficulties of its pyramidal relief. However, Japan launched five consecutive expeditions during this decade, and on May 9, 1956, Toshio Imonisha and Sherpa Giles and Nobu managed to reach its peak for the first time. If it is said that the British consider Everest as their mountain, Manaslu has always been that of the Japanese. It has a death rate of over 17% for anyone attempting to climb it. Daulagiri, or Daulagiri 1, is an 8,167 meter peak in Nepal, in the Himalayas. It is the seventh highest peak on earth. The name of the mountain comes from the Sanskrit, made up of Dawala, which means dazzling, white, beautiful, and Giri, which means a mountain, or dazzling mountain. Its first ascent was successful on May 13, 1960 by Albin Schalbert, Kurt Diemberger, Ernst Foer, Peter Diener, with Nawang Dorge and Nima Dorge, helped by an airplane. Their route, via the Northeast Ridge, has become the normal route taken by the vast majority of mountaineers. This mountain is only separated by a valley with the Annapurna and the scenery there is absolutely magnificent. The death rate in climbing attempts is more than 16%. Cho Oyu is a peak culminating at 8,188 meters above sea level, on the border between Tibet and Nepal, in the Himalayas. This name would mean turquoise goddess or head of god or bald god. 
It is the sixth highest peak on Earth. Its first ascent was successful on October 19, 1954, by Herbert Tichy, Joseph Jockler and Palm Dawalama. The route they climbed, ending on the non-technical northwest face, became the normal route taken by almost all climbers. With a death rate of 1%, Cho Oyu is the easiest mountain over 8,000 meters to climb. Before continuing, please subscribe if you haven't already, press the big thumb and activate the bell to receive new videos. Makalu is a peak culminating at 8,485 meters above sea level, also located on the border between Tibet and Nepal, in the Himalayas. It is the fifth highest peak on Earth. The name of the mountain could come from the Sanskrit Mahakala, which means a great black, a deity of Vajrayana Buddhism associated in Hinduism with Shiva. The latter can prove to be both destructive and preserving. Locally, it is sometimes called Kambakana, which means the giant. Its first ascent was successful on May 15, 1955, by Frenchman Lionel Terai and Jean Cousy. The Makalu is quite deadly with 11% of people dying trying to climb it. Lhotse is a peak culminating at 8,516 meters above sea level, on the border between China and Nepal, in the Himalayas. In Tibetan, the name Lhotse means a South Peak, in reference to its position in relation to Everest from which it is separated by the South Col, 7,906 meters. It is the fourth highest peak on Earth. Its first ascent was successful on May 18, 1956 by the Swiss, Fritz Lachsinger and Ernst Rice. The Lhotse has three secondary peaks on its eastern ridge, the Central Lhotse 1, 8,414 meters, the Central Lhotse 2, 8,372 meters, then, finally, the Lhotse Shah, 8,382 meters. Lhotse, despite its high altitude, is not as deadly. Just 3% of people who attempt to climb it die. Kangchenjunga is a peak in the Himalayas, on the Indonapolese border, in eastern Nepal, between the district of Tepeljang and the Indian state of Sikkim where it can be seen in particular from the capital Gangtok. With an altitude of 8,586 meters, it is the third highest peak on earth, and the highest point in India. Kangchenjunga means a five snow treasures in Tibetan, as it has five peaks, four of which are over 8,450 meters high. On another level, the treasures represent the five relics of God, which are gold, silver, precious stones, grain and holy books. It is called Sualangma in the Lembu language, one of the Tibeto-Burman languages, which means the mountain to which one offers thanks. Sualangma is considered sacred in the Kiranti religion. Kangchenjunga is the official name adopted by Douglas Freshfield, Alexander Mitchell Kellis and the Royal Geographical Society. The first ascent was successful on May 25, 1955, by George Band and Joe Brown during an expedition led by Charles Evans. It is very deadly with 19% fatalities for anyone who tries to climb it. K2 is a summit of the Karakoram or Karakoram Massif, hence the letter K used to designate it, which is located on the Sino-Pakistani border in the autonomous region of Gilgit Baltistan, Skardu district. With an official altitude of 8,611 meters, it is the second highest peak on earth. It is nicknamed Wild Mountain or Mountain Without Pity because of the difficulty of its ascent. The oronym K2 is derived from the notation used by the Great Trigonometric Survey. Thomas George Montgomery made the first survey in the Karakoram, starting from Mount Harimak and descending 210 kilometers to the south, and sketched the six most important peaks, 
naming them K1 to K6. Its first ascent was successful in 1954 by Akil Compagnoni and Lino Lacedelli. Second highest mountain on earth, but also second highest mountain to kill those who would attempt to climb it with a death rate of 23%. Everest is the highest peak on Earth, culminating at 8,848 meters above sea level. It is located on the border between Sagamata area, Nepal, and Tibet in China, and is part of the Himalayan mountain range. Its high altitude made it, its present name by Westerners in 1865 in honor of George Everest, Surveyor General of the East Indies from 1830 to 1843. Although it is the highest mountain, it remains one of the easiest mountains to climb with a only 5% death rate. The first ascent was done on May 29, 1953 by Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay. Beyond this classification based exclusively on the elevation parameter, there are other things you absolutely need to know about the mountains. Mount Everest is usually said to be the highest mountain on Earth. Everest is indeed the highest point above global mean sea level, the average level for the ocean surface from which elevations are measured. But the summit of MT Everest is not the farthest point from Earth's center. Earth is not a perfect sphere, but is a bit thicker at the equator due to the centrifugal force created by the planet's constant rotation. Because of this, the highest point above Earth's center is the peak of Ecuador's Mount Chimborazo, located just one degree south of the equator where Earth's bulge is greatest. The summit of Chimborazo is 6,268 meters above sea level. However, due to the Earth's bulge, the summit of Chimborazo is over 2,072 meters farther from the center of the Earth than Everest Peak. That makes Chimborazo the closest point on Earth to the stars. You may be surprised to learn that Everest is not the tallest mountain on Earth, either. That honor belongs to Mauna Kea, a volcano on the big island of Hawaii. Mauna Kea originates deep beneath the Pacific Ocean and rises more than 10,210 meters from base to peak. You now know a lot about the mountains. If you learned something, Please subscribe, share the video and invite friends to watch too.